So why is it when you have a lamp and then you increase the potential difference across it, why does the resistance of that lamp increase? So I'm going to try and explain this and I'm going to maybe just put down some of the sort of the key points that might help. Well, um, basically what happens is as the potential difference increases, this means that the current flowing through the filament in the top of that lamp, that also increases. Now, uh, what's actually happening inside the, the metal wire? Well, effectively what you have are sort of these metal ions uh, and surrounding all of these metal ions, you have a load of free electrons. Now, normally there's these delocalized electrons, they're just sort of floating around. When you have a potential difference, all of these electrons start to flow in one direction. Now, when you've got a greater potential difference, more of these things are going to be flowing past this uh, metal kind of ionic lattice. Okay, so um, why does that cause a resistance to increase? Well, as these electrons are moving past, they're going to start maybe occasionally knocking into the metal lattice. And what happens then is that, that this causes the metal lattice to start to vibrate a little bit more. So as these are flowing past, we've got a greater current, means there's more collisions, and that means more of these things are starting to vibrate even more. Now, you've then got to think about the particle model of matter. When things vibrate more, that means they're hotter. So what this means is as you've got a greater current flowing, this means that the temperature of these things increases um, because there's all of these collisions, so they, they get slightly hotter. And that's quite nice because when the wire gets hot, it gives out light, which is how it works as a light bulb. Now, um, because these things are now vibrating more, when you have more electrons flowing through this, rather than them just kind of moving straight by and having this kind of easy route through the metal, because the lattice is vibrating, it's harder for the electrons to get through. Now they still get through, there's still a current flowing, but it does mean that there's more resistance to their motion as they go through that metal. So when the temperature increases, this then means that the resistance increases. Okay, so um, does that make sense? It's quite a kind of tricky concept to kind of get your head around, especially with my kind of sort of fairly straightforward kind of animation here uh, as I sort of modeled it with bits of Lego. So um, let's think about a way that we could maybe write this as an answer. So I'm just going to do it in bullet points. So first of all, when the potential difference increases, the current increases. And this then means that more electrons collide with the metal ions in the filament. And I guess I should probably say each second. And this in turn causes the metal ions to vibrate more as they get hotter. And then finally this increases the resistance of the wire as it is harder for the electrons to flow along it. So um, hopefully that's maybe just one way of approaching a question like this. The first thing I did was just you know start with a bit of a model trying to explain it how you've got this metal lattice of ions, you've got the free electrons around it. As you have a greater potential difference, you've got a greater current flow. That means there's more electrons knocking into the lattice, causing it to vibrate even more. And then these electrons are now trying to pass the vibrating lattice, which is why the resistance increases. So quite an advanced question there. And that's just my approach to it.